Ken Ackathorn here with my buddy Bill Wilson, Wilson Combat. You know, we've been down at the ranch here in Texas, Wilson Combat Ranch. Last couple of days, we've been doing test and evaluation of the 300 hammer. To be honest with you, when I came here, there were some questions in my mind. Even though I'd had a chance to get some trigger time on the 300 hammer, it was interesting for me to see how it stacked up to other cartridges. You know, Bill told me, and he's been very public, that his intent from the beginning was to build an AR platform with a cartridge that duplicated the performance of the 3030 Winchester. Uh, there's no question about it. We've tested at different barrel lanes, different brands of cartridges, bullet weight for bullet weight. The 300 hammer does everything it, sp it says it is, which basically it duplicates the 3030 ballistically. Yep. The other thing, which is kind of an interesting one, lots of people have said, well, the 300 hammer is no big deal. It's just a 762 by 39. You know, the common myth is the 762 by 39 performance wise is the same as the 3030. Uh, it's not really accurate if you actually chrono the 762 by 39, say out of an AK, and chrono a 3030 out of a out of a Winchester carbine or a Marlin 336. 3030 has got a little bit more of an edge than people realize. Yes. Now, what was interesting to me is you say, what's the 300 hammer got over the 762 by 39? I'll tell you what it's got over it: about 200 feet per second in a platform, an AR platform, which gives you superb trigger, great accuracy. Accuracy of this cartridge is dramatically better. Remember, this thing was never designed to be a really accurate cartridge. This is an assault rifle cartridge. It was designed to produce, if it produces four to five inch groups, that's considered a pretty effective cartridge for this purpose. Um, 300 hammer, as we've tested and evaluated, and almost every bullet shape that we and weight we saw, they're basically all minute angle or under, mm -hmm. which is pretty impressive. Um, so when you think, well, if I get a 300 hammer, I can get the same effect with a 762 by 39, the answer is no, you can't. Um, the bullet weights and combinations with this cartridge is far greater than anything on the market with this. Oh, yeah. The only thing this thing's got going for is cheap. Um, one of the questions I have is, uh, as other people ask, well, what's the difference between the 300 hammer and the 300 blackout? And how would you respond to that? Well, Ken, the, in my mind, the blackout is an excellent subsonic round. You know, and Which is when, what it was designed to be. When J.D. Jones originally developed the 300 Whisper, you know, which is, you know, what is it? it is the 300 blackout. Yeah. Uh, he created that as a primarily a subsonic cartridge. And it does a great job there. But... You know, he started out with one and eight twist barrels, and then and when the 300 blackout came online, then now it's stepped down to a one and seven twist. And when you put a 110 or 125 grain bullet in a one and seven twist, that you're overspinning that thing so bad, there's there's just no way you're going to get optimal accuracy out of that. Right. You right. know, that's why we spent so much time on the 300 hammer, testing uh, various twist rates to find the sweet spot to find out where these things in that 110 to 150 bullet range where they actually shoot the very best. And it turned out it's nowhere close to one in seven, it's one in 15. Yeah, which is one of the advantages of having your own barrel manufacturing facility. Yeah, it's a little bit of an advantage there. I'm sure the guys <laughs> at the, up at the plant was a little impatient at times with some of your projects, but it paid off. Yeah. Yeah, so I think realistically what I came away with is, you know, especially with, in this case, the, the gun that we were testing and primarily was the Ranger configuration, which for all practical purposes is a patrol carbine yep. or more of a self-defense oriented uh, firearm, is ballistically, you know, everybody likes the 5.56. And let's face it, it is the US cartridge today. But there's a lot of things the 300 hammer does dramatically better than the 5.56. And then, for example, that nice buck you shot this morning was kind of living proof. When you shot it with that 130 grain a uh, hot core spear bullet at what, about 100 yards or yeah, so? 100 yards. Yeah, I mean, rarely does a 5.56 produce that kind of result. You generally have got to trail them for ways before they yeah. pile up. Um, we know, for example, auto glass, auto bodies, any cover that you might have to shoot through, this thing is going to beat most, almost all 5.56 performance. Yeah, it even surprised me when we were shooting through the auto glass yesterday. 
how well it did with multiple bullets. I mean, I, I expected. I don't the, think there was any bad ones. Yeah, I, 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 I expected the hot core to do great, and some of the others maybe not so great. But I mean, we what, we shot did. four or five different yeah. bullets, and they all just blasted right through there, and and made a slightly larger than thirty caliber hole right right through the target right. behind it. Damn, that was fun. It's interesting that all of them did actually far better than I expected. Yeah. I, I say the 3031 should are part of Americana. You know, it's still a good tool. Mm -hmm. I mean, if that's all you had, still a good tool. Um, the AK platform, let's be honest, most prolific small arm on this planet, great tool. But if you look at it from a specialized standpoint, and this be, I tell people, look, you have a market that you address. It's a customer base. You're not, you're not competing against the people who want this platform or the people who want that one. You're specific. I want a 21st century 3030 Winchester that I've got, if necessary, 30 round magazine capacity to match an AK. You've got an accuracy that's going to beat all of them. You got a better trigger. You got a ability to mount optics without any issues. And you pretty much matched the weight. You know, we weighed this Ranger carbine and the 94. We weighed them both empty with an empty magazine in it. We weighed them just a little while ago. And this gun weighs six ounces more than a 30, 30, 94 Winchester. And with, that's including an optic on it. Yeah, including an optic. So overall, I'm impressed with the package and the fact that you've got such a selection of, of ammunition on the market and hopefully with more coming from other mm -hmm. vendors. I think uh, 300 Amherst got a great future. Thank you. Okay. Hey, folks, check out the Wilson Combat YouTube channel. Lots of good info available and a lot of new stuff coming your way. Mm -hmm.